as well as the middle class tourist. John Ringling was the Walt Disney of the pre-Disney era. This is the story of John Ringling, the world's greatest millionaire. He hobnobbed with celebrities from the entertainment world, like Broadway producer Florence Ziegfeld, as well as the world's foremost business leaders. Well, they all knew each other. Uh, it was a it was a small world in a way in New York in those days. Uh, stunt, uh, Mr. Ringling shows up at the White House one day. Uh, well, Mr. Ringling uh, introduces himself to Mr. Coolidge uh, and invites him to attend uh, a upcoming uh, performance of his circus. Uh, and it becomes quite, a, quite a, an affair for Mr. Ringling uh, when Mr. Coolidge comes to the circus. Uh, Mr. Ringling escorts him personally uh, into the center of the, of the rings. Uh, Hail to the Chief is played. Uh, the crowd goes into a wild applause. There's a Tonight we want you to ask yourself these questions. What if everything within the past six years of your life had been a lie? I thought that he would be a good provider, a good dad, a very caring and attentive partner. He treated me like a queen. He was such a hard worker. He would do anything for me. Whatever he set his mind to, he would be absolutely successful. And I really thought he was the most honest and trusting man. Pretty much my knight in shining armor. Yeah, he worked hard, but he worked hard to con, to manipulate. He worked hard to now create a false new life. reality. Whether her second family, chance friends, and her resilience following six years of chaos, transiency, and disconnection. Our subject, Tamara, is a bright, independent, educated, assertive woman with all the necessary traits in place to attract a functioning psychopath. The initial offerings when it came to automobile uh, competitions as we m think of them today really weren't races and things like we talk about today. They were reliability contests. Their sole purpose was to convince the public that these were machines that could be relied on. And it was very early in automotive history. The Elgin National Road Race didn't start until 1909. Indianapolis, which we all know the Indy 500, didn't start till 1911. Um, so this starting in 1906, this was very early in automotive history. See the sun? 
just for today, that sun rose only for me. And that's the way I look at it. This is my sun, my day. And I'm going to make the most out of it. I have to remember to take things one day at a time. Otherwise, I get really overwhelmed. I just, I guess, I take a Paxil in the morning and everything's all right. <laughs> you don't want to hear that, do you? You know, I have to smile when I talk about this, but a lot of people will say to me, you know, you're so lucky, I'd really like to have what you have. And I, I laugh at them and I say, well, I don't think you can take the pain. <laughs> they, they don't understand. on it for a few years to get it and uh, it's been a, a little bit of a longer process than we thought but we were able to bring one back. And where is that going to be uh, situated? That'll be actually right where it originally was uh, really? since the early 60s. It'll go there where our carousel has been sitting since 2011. We started business in 1928 and my grandfather had come out here. He had been supervisor on the railroad in Melrose Park mm -hmm. and he supervised a number of Italian immigrants and at the time they needed they needed different things. Different. So. When my great-grandfather bought the existing company and then supplied millions and millions of bricks to Chicago to rebuild. Uh, from that point forward, when my grandfather took over in 1900, again, adaptability. You know, over its long history, it's uh, been everything from a butcher shop to an art gallery to another art gallery. Uh, it's been a bar, it's been a restaurant, it's burnt down. That's when I decided to open an Indian art gallery in Dundee. I collected American Indian art. There's stories was. that they would, the, some of the famous baseball players would come out from Wrigley Field after the game on the train and uh, couldn't wait to get here. And at that time, they served food. It,